Hey everybody, Tim Walls here. Well, not a normal week, uh, which is a good thing. It's just an update video, but this latest post from the Democratic vice presidential candidate has generated over 2.5 million views. Another video of Tim Walls taking a selfie with Kamala Harris has more than a million. In just a few weeks, Tim Walls has become a political and viral sensation. Wow. Especially with millennial women. After getting to know Tim Walls for the last few weeks, I have realized something, and it's very profound. He represents the dad that a lot of liberal women lost. A lot of us had moderate to conservative, educated, sensible fathers that we lost to Rush Limbaugh, that we lost to Fox News, that we lost to Donald Trump. The fatherly vibes and Midwestern approachability are part of most Walls highlight videos. This was his interaction with school children after signing a bill to provide free meals. Last year, Walls and his daughter promoted the Minnesota State Fair. I think we're going to go do the slingshot. Which I don't know what it is, and they're keeping it from me. But then we're going to go get some food, corn dog. I'm vegetarian. Turkey then? And turkey's then, meat. Not in Minnesota, turkey special. And um, we will go do some of those things and report back. The dad humor and enthusiasm then intensified on the ride itself. <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right, Minnesota, it's worth it. But the Walls personality, which friends say is the same at home and at work, is more than just joy and a quick wit. Okay. By all accounts, Tim Walls is also earnest and direct. We can't talk about public safety without talking about guns, so let's have that conversation. Yeah. I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and put my credibility up against anyone on this issue. I'm a veteran and I'm a hunter. And for many years, I was one of the best shots in Congress, and I got the dang trophies to prove it. I know guns as well as anyone, but I'm sick and tired of talking about that. Because I'm a, not just a veteran, not just a hunter, not just a gun owner. I'm a father, and for many years, I was a teacher. And we all know damn well, weapons of war have no place in our schools, in our churches, in our banks, or anyone wants to live in peace. Many of those videos have been circulating in Minnesota for a while now, but they are getting another look, going viral and becoming paired with the more recent clips of Tim Walls on the Harris campaign trail. It was just a few weeks ago when the Harris campaign confirmed that the Minnesota governor was one of a dozen Democratic leaders that she was considering as a running mate. The campaign encouraged Walls as part of his audition to make a string of media appearances. He did. And segments like this reportedly caught the attention of Harris herself. And I think what Kamala Harris knows is bringing people together around the shared values, strong public schools, strong labor unions that create the middle class, health care that's affordable and accessible. Those are the things. You look what they're talking about. They went right to division. They, they did not give us a plan on health care. Donald Trump talked about infrastructure. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris built bridges, built roads. So I think this is going back to the bread and butter, getting away from this division. We do not like what has happened where we can't even go to Thanksgiving dinner with our uncle because you end up in some weird fight that is unnecessary. <laughs> According to multiple reports, Harris and Walls did not know each other very well. Although Walls spent 12 years in the House and another five and a half years as Minnesota governor and was beloved by lawmakers in both parties, Harris apparently only knew of his reputation. Harris told aides that when she interviewed Walls, they clicked, and that Walls made it clear he did not have presidential ambitions and would do whatever Harris wanted, big or small, high profile or not, as running mate and then as vice president. And never mind Walls being willing to play a supporting role, Harris reportedly told aides that she liked Walls a lot. And so, Walls got the nomination, and since then, Walls has been willing to serve the traditional role of attack dog against the other party's presidential candidate and Trump running mate, J.D. Vance. J.D. Vance literally, literally wrote the foreword for the architect of the Project 2025 agenda. And I got to tell you, I can't wait to debate the guy. That is if, you, if he's willing to get off the couch and show up. So, 
You see what I did there? <laughs> While that line has received the most video views of any since Walls became Harris's running mate, Every rally and appearance has produced moments and lines that have gone viral. In Arizona, when Tim Walls spoke about Donald Trump, the crowd shouted, lock him up. Walls then ad-libbed and responded with this. Good. Better yet, beat the hell out of him at the ballot box. Beat the hell out of him at the ballot box. Determination and sensibility, those are the adjectives that often come up when voters are asked about Tim Walls. Other voters say authenticity, and that's been on display when Walls has spoken to crowds, particularly out west, about his struggles trying to get used to the heat. Now, I know some of you spent the week Googling Minnesota a little bit and to figure out who these Minnesotans were. Here's the one thing I can tell you about us. We spend about half our lives talking about the weather. It's what we do. So I want to say thank you to all of the people since I've been here to remind me that it's a dry heat outside. Dad humor, totally. But for Tim Walls, it works. He's like the upbeat uncle or father figure who will happily teach you how to change the tires on your car. Several women have said that Walls is that older guy at the bar who will step up and defend you from the aggressive weirdo who's trying to spike your drink. That. that perception of Walls in ties in with one of his Arizona signature campaign lines. You know what makes society work best is when you learn a golden rule. Mind your own damn business. Mind your own damn business. We don't need it. There is something else about Tim Walls that is getting a lot of attention from political analysts. The governor has a unique ability to move policies away from the traditional left-right divide and get people to agree on what is the best thing to do. He has a way of taking ideology out of policies and making them seem like things Americans can get together on. Walls himself has used that to move to the left on several issues where he was previously more conservative. And that brings us back to Pamela, the woman on TikTok we showed earlier in this video. Here she is again. I get thousands and thousands and thousands of comments about how being a liberal white woman is the worst thing that someone can be, how I'm a disgusting, ugly Karen. And every now and then I'll get a comment from someone that says, I bet your dad doesn't even love you. And even though I know my dad loves me in his the only way that he can, I know that my dad feels the exact same way as all those other weird men in my comments. And seeing Tim Wall, seeing that he was an educated conservative that saw the party getting weird and changed his mind, shifted his mindset, and now he's this altruistic character who does the slingshot with his daughter at the fair. He's just chill and normal and kind and sensible. He has empathy. He represents all of those qualities that were stripped away from my normal father by this cult. And it makes me sad to see him because I think what kind of person would my dad have been if he didn't fall victim to this nightmare? The emotional connection that many voters have with Tim Walls and the Democratic ticket is real. No matter how you explain it, Tim Walls has captured political lightning in a bottle. To be clear, Tim Walls is far from perfect. He has said some things through the years that were unartful that he should have said differently. As a young man, he was arrested for driving under the influence. But those imperfections also make him even more relatable, especially to people who see Walls as a sort of father figure. Political scientists will tell you that vice presidential picks usually have very little impact on who wins a presidential election. But don't be surprised if Tim Walls proves to be the exception to that rule. I don't, I don't need you telling me what books to read. I don't need you telling me about what religion we worship. And I sure the heck don't need you to tell me about my family. We're just getting this thing started, but it is off and running. So uh, follow along, get involved, uh, make an effort to talk to somebody about a positive vision of this country that we all know is there, and uh, we'll see you out on the trail. To be clear, we will be seeing a lot of Tim Walls. The internet and social media will guarantee it. By the way, Donald Trump is now getting taunted at his own golf courses. Donald Trump loves golf, but at his course in New Jersey, he probably doesn't love this. Attention, Bedminster golfers, Trump cheats. The billboard and another one next to a Trump course in Florida come from psychopack.org, an anti-Trump organization running ads like this. Donald Trump has never, ever been right in the head. <laughs> and then they announced 
Since there was no buys, no. The billboards clearly intended to annoy Trump Oh, nice. are based on assertions in the book Commander-in-Chief by award-winning sports writer Rick Riley. He, he cheats crazy. He cheats whether you're watching or not. He cheats whether you like it or not. He tried to cheat Tiger Woods in a match. Mm, check out that video at the link below. It generated a lot of comments on YouTube. One of the most popular is from I Am Tessa who wrote, he's a cheater in every definition. I hear you. I look forward to reading your comments about Tim Walz, America's newest political and viral star. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.